Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 had a huge rally today, up 3.1%, really kicked off by Chairman Powell's comments uh, during the interview and question and answer session they had at the Brookings Institute uh, today. Uh, and he didn't really say anything new per se, which I think is probably part of the reason the market did move so much. Uh, talked about, though, on a positive way that they might be slowing down the rate of increases. Uh, they've been doing three quarter point increases, uh, maybe do a half a point increase at the next meeting in December. Uh, and the market's been expecting that, but I think it was good to hear that. Talked about getting to some terminal rate uh, and then holding it there for as long as it takes to kind of get inflation down uh, and see what happens with these rate increases and such too. So maybe a more, you know, overall concept in terms terms of the you know moderation for continuing to raise rates past the expected terminal rate uh, there's a couple positives you could gather out of there uh, but it was very interesting to see the market respond so positively uh, the last time chairman Powell did a speech like this was Jackson Hole it actually dropped 3% so going up 3% today uh, i think this is coming off of this last inflation report that was much better than expected the next inflation report according to the cleveland feds you know projection is actually supposed to even be better than that so inflation, you know, overall might be falling. Uh, they are worried about the jobs market. Uh, Chairman Powell talked about that there's, you know, 1.7 open jobs for every person looking for work. Uh, and that's historically very tight and very high. Uh, and they're looking at, you know, the fact that so many people retired or didn't come back to work after they were laid off from the pandemic. And then they haven't seen much change this year and they're not really expecting much change. So what they're trying to do is raise rates to bring down the number of job openings to get that market back into a more normal scenario. Not the most effective way. It would be a lot better to get four, more, 4 million people, which is the shortfall right now, out to work uh, and then really you know be able to kind of uh, keep employment going. But uh, we'll see how that plays out. It's going to be very interesting. Interesting. I think it's one of the hot areas. We did see today some very significant things. Number one, uh, we saw the two-year Treasury yield drop uh, a lot by 3.5%. So that's a really good sign. Uh, it's quite a bit off of its high that it established you know, back in early uh, November. Uh, we also saw the S&P 500 move back through uh, its 200-day moving average to the upside. Uh, on the checklist of things that you have for reestablishing a new primary trend to the upside, 200-day moving average breakthrough is a, is a big deal. Uh, and the last time we tried to do it, it got close and then fell. This time we got through pretty strongly. Be nice to see us hold above that tomorrow and see what happens. But we are going to be going back into, uh, you know, more of our stock positions with our models uh, tomorrow uh, if the market does hold up because uh, that's one of the things we've been waiting for. We're still waiting for the a crossover of the overall trend line. If you draw a trend line across the tops of this downturn, uh, we have not broken that yet. Uh, it would be nice. I think, though, there is still some danger out there, just in the sense that, you know, there's an awful lot of recession indicators that are flashing. And, uh, you know, one of the things that might happen here is that the market hasn't really accounted for, you know, all the possible earnings, you know, write downs that might happen if things do slow down some here. So, uh, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out. Might have a nice run up through the end of this year. December can be a really good year. The, the, the CPI report could be good. That could make the market move. So there's a lot of things that could be moving the market in the right direction. But then the reality of earnings season coming through for, you know, the first and second quarter that could be you know a pretty tough headwind for the market to keep up there so we'll see how this plays out but uh you know we'll make some moves tomorrow we're deciding what those are right now but uh look forward to uh talking to you tomorrow and see you know how things have played out uh talk to you then thank you